Welcome. The topic of this video is the John Deere 997's Zero Turns fuel system. However, this may also generically apply to many other diesel systems. I recently found that I was progressively losing power each time it was used to the point where it would run only for a few seconds before the engine would die. At first I was not sure if it was fuel or electrical. However, it became so bad that I was certain it was fuel, so I replaced the fuel filter. That did not fix the problem. I created this video to provide you with some tips and guidance. This is a diagram of the components and the fuel flow. At the bottom of the tank, the fuel is drawn through an inlet screen. The screen can clog up, starving the engine of fuel. The fuel passes through a water separator, which has an on-off valve. Be sure to drain any water from the canister bottom by using a drain on the bottom, draining about a cup's worth to be sure that only fuel passes from that point on. An electric diaphragm pump primes the system, moving fuel to the fuel filter. Diesel fuel systems are expensive and wear very quickly if the fuel is not well filtered, so use a quality filter and change at least once a year. The fuel will proceed to the injection pump and any excess fuel returns to the tank. The return line will ensure that the system remains primed. Let's track, track the fuel path. It starts out coming from the tank, comes out of the tank on this line here, goes down, down, down to this line to the fuel trap. And there's an on-off switch here if you need it. This is the water separator. Then it goes from the water separator, comes up here to the fuel pump. And you can see electrical cord on the fuel pump. And then you go up this way to the fuel filter. There is a bypass that goes back up to the fuel tank. And also another line back in here that goes to the injection pump. One thing you can do to check the fuel pump, see if it's even uh, working or operating, is to turn this on. You'll hear the alarm, but you can also hear and feel the fuel pump vibrating, which tells you at least it's getting electricity and pumping. So this is vibrating. Here a little bit, it should be pumping fuel up into here it go. So it was pumping air, now it's pumping fuel. It's filling up my new fuel filter. If you're going to remove the fuel tank, there's two bolts. One bolt's right here in the back next to the engine and the other bolt is going to be up underneath here you'll find it just the two okay the uh, filter line is going to be this item here you're going to pull it straight up and uh, at the bottom of that is where you're going to find the filter it's the it's the one that's closest to the engine if you pulled out the supply tube from the fuel tank and found that the inlet screen was dirty or plugged, my advice would be to remove the tank and clean it out. You may have algae or other debris that will cause the screen to plug up again, giving you more downtime. For mine, with a tank removed, I inserted the end of a pressure washer to make sure I had enough fluid in it to get the particles out. Then, after uh, draining as much water as possible, I put the tank in the hot sun for a few hours to dry it. And that worked pretty good. 